Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another fight card. It is Fight Night 32. It is wild with every fight card. The number keeps going up, and it's shocking that this has gone on so long. It's our UFC 5 AI versus AI Sim Universe. We have 78 fighters. All eight men's divisions are running. If you want to join the universe, we'd love to have you. Google form, description, add your fighter. You don't need the game. You don't need to be here all the time. If you'd love to be here all the time, participate. That's great. Just don't disappear on me for a month or two, and you'll be good. Uh, 13 fights tonight. We got two championship fights. The Welter and Bantam is up for grabs tonight. And we have one debut. Nathan Mackinall will make his debut tonight. So I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the universe. And let's get going on Fight Night 32. Starting out the fight card tonight. We will be in the middleweights, which we typically don't start with the middleweights, but I figured we would mess it up a little bit. Number five, Soap Spronkler, coming off his title loss last week to Rob Diesel. We'll get it going again against the number seven ranked Harul WBF. Uh, the Elgato's off. That's fixed. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Why is he got that so low? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's weird. I request. Okay. Uh, remind, remind me at the end of this fight. I don't play music during the fights. Um, because it's, it's, it, it, it's hard to hear. But after the fight, I'll put the music back on. So remind me at the end. Got you. Remind me at the end of the fight, okay? I believe the Elgato sound is correct. Why was it 30? But regardless, right we here. We here. And here we are. I'm, let's uh, end submissions. Four of you are betting. Thank you so very much. Spronkler and WBF getting us started here on Fight Night 32. Ba -na 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 it is still hot. Balls in my apartment. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lots of water, dude. Lots of water. Let's go, WBF. Bronco's not even here. We can't even make fun of him. He's not here. We can't make fun of Bronco. Head kick there by Soapy Soap. So I wish I had like two PlayStation so I could play NCA at the same time. Actually, I don't because I wouldn't pay attention to this at all. Oh, another huge head kick from Spronkler. WBF trying for a takedown. It's stuff, though. I have to. Gosh, I wonder if... if uh, damn it. I wonder if some good sliders are out yet. I need to find two, two sets of sliders now. I need to find sliders for my gameplay because there was no turnovers, one penalty the whole game. I don't like that. I want there to be penalties, damn it. Not an excessive, but that's real football. Uh, and then I got to find AI versus AI sliders as well. So it should be fun. In addition to being a fighter, I'm a great viewer. A, I, I sure hope so. I sure hope so, man, you know? Love, love to see it. Love to hear it. I love the fight. Hell yeah, dude! Oh my god, dude! Just out of range with that pissing me off. Looks like you're using an ad blocker. Yeah, I fucking am. Shut up. Ooh, it's someone else. Put the threat up. Is anyone else that concerned that EA has added no? Oh, no. Who cares? It only gets better. That's right. It only gets better. Only up. Only up from here. Just misses with the straight right. And considering we're constantly bringing new people in, we're, we're constantly retiring people, there's always a new crop of people to come in and hang out, you know, which is awesome. Which is awesome. This is anti, but I've done some testing oh, and I think sure I found that I really like. 
That's Great default. Fight. It's default Heisman seven minute. Oh, All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action okay. continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Let's bring it right back. Let's see how they're going to play it out. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Okay. I was going to say turn. Oh, turn. Okay. All right. I watched everything. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. I missed round one. What happened so far? Not not a lot. Spr Sprongler got some good head kicks. Um, I don't think WBF got a takedown. Um, but yeah. Good shot there from WBF. I don't really see any big issues on these guys' faces so far, so there's nothing crazy wild so far. But it's the opening fight of the night. Shit's going to get crazy. You know that, Zephy. What's up, baby? How you doing, buddy? Sorry, I, was, I said buddy to someone else on here, and then I realized you turned around. Oh, 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 WBF! His face was fucked up. I didn't see it. Haruo! Oh my gosh, just a straight left followed by a right. Oh my goodness, absolutely came out of nowhere. A 1-2 from WBF and Spronkler is going to down, go down, down in this earlier fucking round. Dana, make it official, my friend, of the first fight of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean, the first so of this contest, at 1 minute, 43 yes, seconds of round prediction. number 2, declaring the winner by not here. You guys can't hear my fan, can you? Maybe when I talk, you guys can hear it. But Haruo WBF won't be famous. We'll get his win. I've never predicted fight wrong. That still stands. <laughs> still stands, huh? You're still perfection. Still perfection, my guy. One minute and four to three seconds of round number two. Uh, judge's scorecard did have WBF winning the first round. A million percent. Again, I don't think the first round really had a lot going. Don't think they really had a lot going. But round two, I mean, pretty even. Spronkler got the stun. But outside of that, it was a pretty decently even fight. 56 to 53, 35 to 29. Spronkler got the two stuns. WBF got absolutely nothing. He got nothing. But out of nowhere... The right or the left into the right, and WBF is going to get a victory. Improved to 7 and 12, and unfortunately, Sprongler with another loss. To the Bantam Weights for fight number two of this fight card, and it is two fighters in incredibly similar situations. Number six, Chuck McBamperson. Number nine, Chelios Chev. Both two and seven, both three fight losing streaks. Couldn't be more even. Who's going to end their losing streak right now? Might be a draw. A, uh, we don't have draws here, Ness. One inch of height, two inches of reach for Chelios Chev. Yeah, we don't believe in draws, man. We believe in overtimes. That's what we believe in. We believe in overtimes. Mick Bamperson is underdog on Twitch. Hey. Uh, did someone else buy a card of mine? Yep. Somebody bought a 53 cent card of mine today. Cool. Cool. Are my auctions up? Scheduled start. Six. It takes a week? Whoa. Why does one of my auctions start at one day and one starts five days from now? What the shit balls? Yo, I gotta talk to my company about this. It's going to defy the odds and it'll be a draw anyway. <laughs> we'll just keep doing overtime. Rounds, more rounds, more rounds. Maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit. Yo, I talked to my company about this. Why is why is one auction starting a week from now? And one tomorrow. I put them up at the same time. That is kind of crazy town. Interesting. Weird. Sorted, have you put anything up for au auction yet? 
A little weirded out this thing is so fucking long. I don't like it. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Nah. Hmm. I have two. They've been reprocessed as elite. Dude, the picture is so much better, it's wild. The picture is so much better. And the funny part too, when they retake that picture. When they retake that picture, the person retaking these images are literally five steps from me that way. Got the single collar tie. <laughs> so if you're an upper deck e pack and you ever want a picture well, reprocess that has a lease, literally Very the person taking that uh, uh, the, the reprocessed the image is five feet from me. Uh, Paul uh, Skeen's got pulled from the game while throwing a no hitter from the third. <laughs> God, they hate him, dude. They will not let him throw a no hitter. Crazy shit, bro. Crazy shit. How about you, Sword Diddle My Pickle? Don't promise me a good time and then not follow through, Benjamin. Or hell, use your jujitsu? Which one? The guy on the left? He's Muay Thai. The guy on the right's a brawler. Oh! Good shot from McBamperson. He's on your left. Chelio Chev is on your right. Stuns McBamperson. Walking him down a little bit. Chuck's in a little bit of trouble. He's eating a lot of volume here. Swinging a mess from Chelio Chev. 30 seconds in round number one. You know my point? Hey, the, the way I do my sliders, Ozinho, this fight's never over till it's over. The amount of comebacks and lax last second knockouts when the fighters get in their ass kicked is, pre is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. The way the way my sliders are set practically means any time at any opportunity someone's gonna get a knockout. It doesn't always happen that way, but that's the way I set my sliders up. Are you getting frustrated again over there, buddy? I see your hands going up. Are you getting frustrated again? <laughs> Yeah, good try, bro. Yeah, right. This fucking guy. I'm looking frustrated. What, what, what do you mean? My booty is going to go wrong? No. I've never predicted wrong. There's a 0% chance. Okay. So Chelios Chev is guaranteed victory. Is a guaranteed victor. There goes down Bam. Chelios Chev on top. Bamp is able to guard up and back to his feet. Back to his feet. Plenty of time left in this fight here. But Chelios is starting to throw heavy, heavy stuff. Please do not fact check. I won't. I won't. Don't worry. I will not. Don't you worry. Down goes Bamp again. Slips that one. Oh, catches Chelios with the right hand. A quick right uppercut drops Bam for another time. Still three minutes left to go in this round. Plenty of time. Bam going for a takedown. Gets him against the cage. Chelios with a good defense. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Ooh, that leg, that leg's becoming a problem for Chuck and Bamperson. He's down to one foot. He's down to one foot. And the right hand from Chelios Chev. And that is going to do it. And Chuck McBamperson is going to continue his poor stretch. Chelios Chev, left side of the chin. Huge right cross, and that's going to do it for Mr. Chucky. Chev gets the win. And the blue corner is 2-0 to start. Oh, I forgot to do the, the sound, my dad. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Yeah, so we knocked out. He did. 30 seconds of round number two. The winner by he did, bro. Russia. Shelly so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over. Huge. Anyone that'll listen, I am Chev needed it. They both needed it, but Chev's the one that got it. Let's go take at. Uh, let's go take a peek 
Got some sweet, sweet scorecards here. First round to Chelios Chev. Looking at the overall 61 to 50, 39 to 22. Uh, four knockdowns, one leg, two stuns, only one stun for Chuck. Chelios, that brawler too, took over. Punches volume, punches heavy, did some damage. And Chelios Chev's going to get their third win of their career. We're going to stay in the bantamweights for the third fight of the night. Second time in a row, and it'll be the number five ranked Demon King. They have lost four of their last five. Take it on number eight, Roman Reigns. One and three in their first four professional fights. Three people betting. Thank you so much. I thought it was going to be something. I was hoping there was going to be something, but Farfoot, Farfoot failed us. Even height, even reach, even a lot of things for Demon King and Roman Reigns here. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. I arrived with my beer and found this. You... I mean, let's be honest. We, we were all hoping there was something. We were all hoping that Fartbutt had one. Whether they're legit or not, I'm happy to get a virus from Fartbutt, if you know what I mean. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to assume that they're a bot for now. They have no permission, so it doesn't matter. I didn't give them anything, so. We've had Discord for a while. Their stuff looks legit, so. We will give them some time for Fartbutt to show his face. Or his ass. Whichever comes first. <laughs> I'm making my son giggle over here, man. This is good. I'm having a good night. Well, he continues to manhandle <laughs> here on the ground. Demon King on your left. Roman Reigns on your right. He's looking for that left hand. Oh baby, oh baby. <laughs> The man, the myth, the legend, fart butt. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, maybe it's a maybe it's an NCA guy. I mean, I have Discord in my description. I don't have. I don't tell them to come to my Discord for anything, but they could have. You don't know. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood. Never know. I'm hoping an NCA. Hoping my first episode blows up a little more. Come on. Come on. I'm hoping. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Plans a big elbow there. Big elbow land on the side of the bar. Uh, these two fought before. Ever. Uh, Demon and who the hell is he fighting? Roman. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Demon and Roman, first time ever these two are colliding together. Colliding together like we all wish Fart Butt would collide with us. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Do 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 Fart Butt. Minute to go. Huge left hand there from Demon King. Roman Reigns is continuing to try to get a takedown. See again. This is on your feet against wrestler. If Demon King can stay up, he's gonna win this fight. If Roman Reigns can take you down, then there is a good chance. But right now, Demon King is absolutely obliterating Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, quick, quick back to through his feet. We could have had a first round finish. But he is in deep, deep trouble. His face is all jacked up. Demon King is dominating so far. Right hand across. As we approach five seconds to go, body kick and an elbow, and he is going to be saved by the bell. As Roman Reigns gets dominated on the feet here. Brutal. Look at that cut already. Oh my gosh, dude. His eye is swollen, and that's a stitch right there. Oh my gosh. It's not over until it's over. You right. You right. It's not. We've seen fights like this before. We've seen fights like this before absolutely get flipped on their head. So I am not, I am not concerned. I'm a little concerned. Demon again keeps walking him down. Roman Reigns' hands are dropping. Good right hand there from Roman. But his hands are too low. There's another one. He's caught again. Demon King kicking the air for some, other, for some ridiculous reason. Good left hand. Ooh, 
That was like a little bit. That was like a little bit. I mean, this fight is not over. If Roman Reigns can get him down and grapple with him, he can end this fight. Good head kick there from Roman. Stuns Demon King. He is definitely on his way down. Oh, this could be it. Another kick. Demon King with some hammer fists. Herb Dean's going to have to step in. Oh, how did Herb not step in? How did Herb not step in? This fight is over. There it is. There's the uppercut. The left hand. The fight should have been stopped on the ground. Herb Dean let him keep going. And Roman Reigns had to eat another punch, which was entirely unnecessary. Horrible refereeing by Herb Dean. He should be hearing about this later on. That left uppercut was absolutely unnecessary for Roman Reigns to take. This fight was already over. It should have been stopped. He wasn't defending himself. That shot right there is all on Herb Dean. He's going to get a little talking to, that is for sure. In any case, Bruce, let's hear it. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 49 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout King! Alright, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger King. knockout victories of his career. And It's a very, very important win. Kind of a one-sided win, too. I mean, my God. I don't think Reigns did much. I don't think he took him down one time. He 0 for 10 on takedowns. That was the story of the fight right there. 0 for 10. He could not get Demon King to the ground. Because of that, he ate so many punches. 69 to 37. 43 to 21. More than doubled the power strikes. Two stuns, six knockdowns. I mean, good Lord. Good Lord. Just too much. Three knockdowns in a matter of two minutes in round two. Demon King will, will be your winner. Improve to four and six. And Roman Reigns continues his skid to start his career. Now one and four. Fourth fight of the night. And we'll go to the Feathers, the 145s for the very first time. The former champion, the former 6 and O, oh, Nacho Libre. Two and four in their last six will try to keep the number eight ranked Hone Heke winless in their WCFC career. I, I don't know. Two inches of height and reach for Hone Heke over the Mexican national. In any case, though, we will wait. They will just chill until, until they talk. Or whatever happens. The B B BBL fart butt. <laughs> I just saw that mess. BBL fart butt. Be back later, fart butt. Gotta go to the weed store, then more beer. Bo, well, you're starting to worry me again. You fixed your, you fixed your sleep schedule, but now you're back to this. Are you, in Oregon? Are you still in Oregon? Is that why? Are you party bow this week? Is that what's up? Are you party bow? Because you're in Oregon. Go back to Idaho. Normal bow. Left hand. Hone Heke trying to get their first win. What a win it would be against the former champion. The former 6-0 champion. By the by. Wait. Sorted. You're quiet. Are you doing this shit? Okay. Whew. I was going to say. Oh my god. You two viewers are going to be so confused when they hear you talk about fart butt. They probably. That's fine dude. All that's going to do is make him come to the stream to, to figure out what the hell I'm talking about. Organ bow's better. That's not what I asked, brother. I said, are you are you still in Oregon and that's why you're being crazy drunk bow? Can I get that potent wheat? Yeah. Let's go, Libre. I'm playing and say, but no, no, I, 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 dude, I'd be doing the same thing. I just wanted to make sure you were doing the fights. Because normally when you're quiet, it means you stepped out and I didn't. So I don't want to go back. I'm like, fuck, I got to go back and figure out all three of these. You're good. Justin Oregon still until Thursday. Got you. Got you, got you. I kind of, Ness, I kind of hope people are confused because I think that's hilarious. Considering, like, people really only watch at the very beginning or, like, one random fight. I hope it's the fart butt fight. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about fart butt for? Who is fart butt? What the hell is fart butt? They have a fighter named fart butt? 
and then there's no fighter named Farfoot, and I'm even more confused. Oh, God, it would be heaven. It'd be heaven. I gotta watch. Let's go. Nah, you're good, dude. Dude, you're good. Mazino, you're awesome. Then back to old man Bo goes to bed by nine. Uh, my stream schedule, Bo, is probably gonna fit. It, it's probably gonna switch here pretty soon to instead of six to ten, it's gonna be five to nine. I watch on YouTube. Hey, that's great, man. Watch on this. Watch on YouTube. Do everything. But I don't know every fighter. Oh, you will. The more you watch this, you will know all these fighters just like I do. One day the legendary fire button will respond. We can only hope, Nathan. We can only hope here. Even better? Yeah. I think my work schedule is going to change a little bit, and I need to end stream an hour earlier so I, so I can like make sure I can nice. sleep. So. Nice it's not 100% confirmed yet, but I'd be super shocked as to... Final it, 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 I, I'd be shocked if it didn't happen. Hopefully, Farpa doesn't drop a diss track. Uh, I mean, I hope he does drop a diss track. What the hell? When, when will that take place? Uh, I mean, hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. I just have to get the okay from my boss. Even though I don't, my boss doesn't work in my room. Like, he never sees me. So, I don't know why it would be a problem, but I still get the okay. We have been disrespecting him. You have a, a, a name with Farpa. You don't say a word. You deserve all the disrespect you get until you speak up. I get a fight on Quinta? Wait, what? You're going to fight on Quinta? Ally of Quinta? I'll Farpa on the mic. Don't. Don't tempt me, dude. I don't need pink eye, okay? I don't need pink eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, Thursday, Thursday, yeah, yeah. Is is Quinta Thursday in Brazilian? Yeah, well, in, in Portuguese, I guess. I got you, yep. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Brasil, Brasilia. Rio de Janeiro, Brasilia. Three twenty. Only heck is kind of held his own here. As I say that, he gets punched in the fucking head. What's the capital of Brazil? Sao Paulo. Am I right? If I'm not right, that's the first thing that popped in my head. Oh, Brazil. Uh. Oh my god, Honeyhag is down. Honestly, when I Google this, I'm gonna know the answer. Oh, bro. Wait, is it really uh, Brasilia? Oh, god. Oh my god. Well, that makes it easy. Why did I think it was Sao Paulo? Has that ever been capital? No. Damn. Most populous city in Brazil. Okay. All right. Uh, at least I was close, you know. It, it's the most populous. Most people. Nacho Libre starting to take over here. Hone is in a little bit of trouble. Trippy Chicken's not here to watch, and that is probably part of the issue. If Trippy Chicken was here watching this fighter, he might do it. Brazil had three capitals. Rio de Janeiro and Brazil. I know, I remember when Brazil was hosting World Cup matches. Oh, there's Hone Heke again. Libre standing over the top of him trying to get the win. Hone Heke trying to defend himself, but it is not enough. Herb Dean does what he should have done last fight and actually steps in. And to make sure Hone Heke does not continue to take more damage that he should not take. Nacho Libre is going to get your win with a TKO victory. Hone Heke down to 0 and 3 at the start of April, or at the end of August, I mean. Hone is going to have to figure out a change to reset their fighter. I'll make sure Trippy does that. 
I'll make sure trip. Oh, hold on. Not your Libre's built different. I'm built different, bruh. I'm built different. You're doing too much, bruh. You're doing too much. There's a fucking TikToker that acts like a 15 year old kid. It's really funny. Four minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. I have to declare the winner by TKO, the Nightmare. Every single Bobby dynasty I've done so far, Texas State dominates. It was a result that they I don't understand. They said, I don't you ain't got, you, you ain't got that riz. Please tell me you know the guy I'm talking about. There. He acts like a fucking, like he's, he's a tall, skinny dude. Like, he's a, clearly he's in his 30s. But he acts, he does it so well. He does it so fucking well, it's disgusting. Nacho Libre, though, is going to get the win here. 87 to 59. Let me fix the sound here before I fuck it up later. 49 to 32. Three stuns, four, four knockdowns. Uh, Libre did get round one, but look at the, uh, the difference. I love his I eat ass shirts. <laughs> but look at the difference, though, man. In the, in the first round, he outstruck him, but no stuns, no knockdowns. Hone Heke was holding, holding his own. Then round two came. And, uh, yeah, he wasn't holding his own very much longer. Four stuns and three, or three knockdowns and four stuns in almost a full round. 14 seconds left to go in round two. And Nacho Libre will get the win. Hone Heke continues to be winless at 0-3. The fifth fight of the night, and it'll be the lone debut we have tonight. In the welterweights. The former champion, Tamur Toktasinov, who started out 7-0. We'll look to right the ship a bit. He is 1-3 in his last four, taking on our debut, our new, let's welcome, number seven ranked, Nathan Mackinall. Roll through, then I can play Cemented Double A a little bit. For this welterweight fight. Uh, six inches of height and reach for Toktasinov here. Wait, and, and Nathan, you put Aberdeen, you meant Scotland, right? That's what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. Because honestly, there's an Aberdeen, Washington, like Washington State here in America, and actually people are from there. So I just want to, I want to, I assumed it was Scotland. I assumed it is. And there's Naberdy, Maryland. Yep, absolutely. I've actually been there. Tamor absolutely bullied me in our fight. He's a bad stylistic matchup for most ones. Yeah, he is, dude. Like, that's that's what's so fun about the 170s, man, is, like, it, it's a very grappling, like, a very grapple-heavy division. But there's so many, like, different grappling styles in this division. And it just happened naturally. It's actually pretty fucking cool. It's actually pretty cool. Mackinall here on your right. A very towering presence in front of him with Toktasinov. Oh, nice Crazier shit have, have happened, though. Five people betting, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Five people with the betty bets. No odds. Oh, I didn't see this, Joey. I'm sorry. No odds. He's already drunk. But how drunk, though? We can make, like, a level of drunk. Nice and you can do odds on that. Jab, right hand, body shot. Still not to the ground yet, though. Good left. I gotta change that stream elements thing. I actually might change the name of my Discord, too. The dugout doesn't make sense anymore if I'm not streaming an MLB. So I might need to rename the Discord, which is fine. It's not a big deal. There's a takedown from Toktasinov. Uh, nice holy game. shit. Mac Mackinal just Mackinal. Oh, I'll get it, buddy. Just uh kind of pushes him down so we can stand back up. Oh, holy shit. Like yeah. Holy shit. That there that is. was fun. There was a takedown oh, there from Toktasinov. Dude, what is my striking pretty well from the bottom here? Working out of side control here. Oh, His opponent oh. trying to control posture. Any updates on the far butt? Nope. We are silent on the far butt front. 
Uh, this fight's. Oh, I, I almost said it. I almost said it. Mackinaw almost was TKO'd, but enough to stay alive. Public team needs to know. Yep. All quiet on the fart butt front. We do not know what's happening. He has been radio silence. And he's no longer online anymore either. He's still in the Discord. But he logged off of Discord without saying anything, which is kind of shocking. But I do have a bot that tells me if someone leaves the Discord. So he can't sneakily leave and me not know. I know everything. I know everything. I am all knowing. Good elbow there from Tamor. Mackinall just trying to escape the round, and the armbar is not going to get put in place because round one has come to an end. Loser, I know that, dude. How dare you? Come in, don't say shit. Uh, I wonder if. I guess Munoz is going to pitch. All right, here we go with round two. Round two here. Mackinall needs much, much better of a round. Good left. I thought I thought he stunned him, but he didn't. I thought he stunned him, but he absolutely did not. Wheel kick missed. Oh, nice hook. Oh, big right hand from Toktasinov. Mackinall looks a little nervous here. Good takedown defense, though, but he looks a little timid to, be throw, to, uh, to not be throwing. Ah, there it is. Okay. I got you. I got you, bro. Oh, we... Oh, 3.30 left here. Dude, the welterweight is such a hard decision. I will constantly go down and say that I think the welterweight is the toughest division, Just top to bottom. Three minutes to go now. Top, the toughest division, top to bottom. Right Nobody will convince me total. otherwise. Even the worst fighter, nice. I guess, except for Austin nice Ritchie. Now that some guys have been replaced, Connolly, Ritchie are one and eleven combined. We have the midpoint of this fight. So. Right, good job no, no. There to raise no. The you think it's the heavyweights? He's doing a good job uh, I mean, the heavyweights are tough for sure because I think the heavyweights are tough just because any one punch can knock anybody out from anybody because they're so powerful. So there's that. Should we win? What the fuck? Nessa, what is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm intrigued, but what is it? I'm afraid to say it, like I'm going to say some racial slur or something. Another good takedown defense for Mackinaw. They tried to set me up, Ness. What the fuck? Unacceptable. One minute to go in round two. Unacceptable. Big right, big right hand. Knocks down Toktasinov. Mackinall finally gets a big break. Huge right hand. Oh, no, but he got caught. He got caught. Toktasinov got the gilly. And instead, he bails out of it and uses it to full mount and then instantly stands back up. What an interesting transition of 15 seconds there. Knocked down into a gilly, into full mount, back on your feet. Uh, okay. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. As both fighters sit here for a few seconds, stare at each other. Mackinaw gets in a few more shots, and that's how round two is going to end. Very good last minute for Nathan Mackinaw. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot. Very, very good. We go to round three. Zero fights have gone to decision so far. My voodoo is working. I can feel it. I can feel it. And that might be fart butt that I'm feeling, but it might be your voodoo as well. I'm not sure. I'm okay with both. I'm okay with both. 
Oh, we oh. Couple good shots there from Mackinac. He eats one from Tosaxanoff. Tosaxanoff though. Good takedown defense. Some more looks to be a little more aggressive here. Maybe he thinks the fight is is, is dead even. He needs to be the one pushing the pressure. Volume, volume. Oh, some more is landing everything right now. Nathan's in a little bit of trouble. Good left there, but it didn't do much. Incredible takedown defense. From the, la the latter stage of this fight for Nathan. But he is eating a lot of shots from Tostasinov now. For contact, Weebies is what Ra Raul Rosas. Ah, Raul Rosas Jr. Yeah, looks like he's 14. Three minutes left to go in the round. Are we going to see a winner here? That leg, that leg's a little messed up. Some more caught it. Little limpy limp. Can more keep putting on the pressure here on the feet? Or can Mackinaw find a way to get a finish here? Throwing, throwing some good shots. Eating some good shots, though. Oh, oh, there it is! No way! Nathan Mackinaw! in what he most likely needed. Right under the chin of Tamur Toktasinov. Good Lord. We're gonna see if he was behind or not, but my God, bro. Tamur Toktasinov. The former champion down and oh, out, and that is how, is in. how Nathan McEnall will Oscar start Oscar. his career. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ. This contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Tamor fell off. off. PPF? <laughs> it's well, PPF, bro. <laughs> Nathan McEnall. I mean, if you're going to debut against a former champion, that's uh, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. As Nathan McEnall, McEnall will get the victory. Judges scorecard. This was a majority draw going in around three. Judge one, it was 2018 for Nathan. Judge two, it was 1919 draw. Judge three, 1919 draw. So, it kind of was up to the last round. If Tamor wins round three, he wins the fight by split. So, interesting. Look at the overall here. 57 to 55. Not a lot of punches landed for almost 13 minutes of fight. Only 57, 55, 28 to 22. But the two stuns, the one knockdown compared to the one stun. Not the most exciting of fights. Not the most number of shit landed. But when you look in the record books, a win is a win. Mackinall. Mackinall. Gets his first victory. Wins his debut against the former welterweight champion, Toktasinov. Two fights left on the prelim card. And it will be the one-time former champion... Putting in his 24th professional fight in the WCFC. 7 and 16. We'll take on number 7 ranks. Coming off two straight losses. Hoping it's not a third. Jaquez Smith Jr. Yeah, that would be awesome. Big height and reach advantage for Jaquez. Betty Betty Hughes. Betty Betty Hughes. Betty Betty Betty. Ready to fight. Ready. Watch your Madison Square Garden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's and actually Is it December? I think it's December of 2025. I'm actually gone for a week. I'm taking a cruise. 
Do the Caribbean, the Caribbean. What are we going for a week in December? And I'm assuming that's a decent chunk of money. Like the add-ons and stuff that I've not packaged yet or right, bought so yet. So. Into the fight. Certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect. Oh, the tickets are already bought, but just yeah. like the extra add-on stuff. Here. Uh, Bambo on the left, Jacquez on your right. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man. It's a video game. Somebody do something. It's free. Just join the cartel. Hey, dude, good call. Good call. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, is it a Let's travel. Beautiful transition. Bro, fiddy fiddy. Uh, here. Uh, sign in. What the shit balls? Uh, Jack Wes is looking to finish this fight really early. Really, really early, but now they're back to their feet. I'm trying to. Ugh. Throwing that jab now again. I'm trying to log into this quickly so I don't screw anything up. It's the wrong password. I'm trying to look at this. Bro, that's absolutely my account. Is that this a good fighter? Jacquez? He aight. He aight, you know? Peace. You have seven more attempts? Bro, my password is the same thing. Stop pretending. Whatever, dude. Uh, I'm not worried about this right now. Global win via, via Fluke. Fluke or, uh, or via Von Fluke. Von Flu or Fluke. So you don't take all of it. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Fluke. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with Von Flu. He's gonna win via Von Flu choke. This is like Booba. Kick there from Banbo. Under a minute to go. Gilly. Dustin Gilly. Eat a dick, Russo. Eat a dick. Mr. Russo, I appreciate it. 46 months. Thank you for the tier one. Russo. Thanks so much, man. Hope you're having a great uh, break at work. <laughs> Loser. Pay the cost to be the boss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds to go here, round one. Good head kick there from Jacquez. And he's going to go for a takedown, but that's going to be the end of round numero uno. Uh, the HR was taken out. I got to put a difference. Emote in for that. For that, for that, for that. Round two between the lightweights here. Round two, round two. Get him. Go back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty good fight so far. Good kick there from Bambo on the left. Good, good, good. Oh, we oh. You can make it. Oh yeah, it's a good call. Unless I can probably do it right now. Uh, what's the name of the fruck yeah email though? I have to name it exactly. Wes Coke Fruck. What's up, Hype? Uh, the one I took out was the HR. Yes, okay. Okay. And we're good. Oh, let's test it again real quick. I win by head kick? Maybe. There it is. Oh, we all Gucci. We all Gucci. Here. Easy peasy. Jock Quest here on top. Bambo's in a little bit of trouble. He's cut open. Another ground and pound strike land. He's got mount. It's over. Oh, it's never over when someone's got mount on me, bro. It's never over. Never. I always I always let them believe that they're in control and they're in charge. And then boop, I flip it on them. Too. Welcome to people who are coming in. Hey. Love it. Love it. Love it. With Buzzino. Sorted slacking on the website. Yeah, bro. Fucking get his ass, dog. Uh, the current rankings. What's your current record, Russo? You're 9 and 2. 
the canvas. It's updated on our Excel for what it's worth. Because I show you at nine and two on our pound for pound. So it's just not being updated there, but it's it's being done in Excel. Up and a minute 15 here. Because he's landing so consistently. Minutes 15. As Jaquez has done much better in this round. He's gotta be careful here. I wouldn't say he's dominated, but I think he's won it. As we approach the end. What WCFC is coming up? 25th. This is updated through 24th. I figured it was. I thought I'd let y'all. Yeah, just at sorted or DM sorted whenever that. Because I I don't really do that. I can. I just have to do the. I have to find the uh, the red and green that he does. I think it's an HTML tab. But I can't fucking spell today. Today? Bro. 1070? It was 107 chance? Oh, fuck. For what it's worth, Stepbo, you are number two pound for pound. Number two. Number two, OMG Stepbo. Round three. I think Jaquez Smith has a little bit of a... He's winning right now, but what can Bambo do? Can Bam uh, Bambo get back in the fight? Uh, yeah, just Booba. Just Booba. But you got Rob Diesel coming down your asshole. He's 5-0, and oh, man. If he keeps going like 6-0, 7-0, 8-0, he's going to jump somebody. It's likely you. But we'll see. It is the two of you. Both started this round like he needs to finish. Yep. I think because he knows it. He knows he, he knows he needs oh, to finish. Boom. The kick. Missed kick for both of them. Oh, we oh. Nice leg kick. oh he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to And the American League has defeated, defeated the National League. Emmanuel Fosse gets the save. Andres Munoz does not pitch. Just hey, range with that whatever. I DM. Yeah, he uh, stepped out. He stepped out, and I think I've... No, I thought he He'll be back. He'll be back. I, I honestly have not looked at the website deep, so I don't know what's not being up updated. The majority of the stuff is, of course, but... Um, it's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. I know the overall pick'em leaderboard is not updated yet. Yeah, this is a good fight, man. This is a good fight. Two minutes. Can Bambo come back and complete this, though? We still have yet to have a decision. And Jaquez is stunned. Bambo looking to move in. Hitting everything. Oh, he fucked up that leg. Jaquez gets out of their takedown. Minute 30 left. What can Jaquez do here? If it's overtime, are we, if it's a draw, there are no ties, Rosinio. Draws do not exist in the WCFC. We go an extra round where I am the judge. Draws do not exist. They suck. Yep. No draws. Zero draws. Fuck draws. They're terrible. So we go to overtime. So for some reason, this is a draw. We will go to a round four. Final 30 seconds. There must always be a winner. 25 seconds left to go. Both these men look absolutely exhausted. They've beaten the hell out of each other. A great fight in the lightweight as Banbo throws a good uppercut. 329. I don't think you can do 329. You have to have two 10 10 rounds. I mean, it's possible, I guess, but. I didn't get to see. Uh, I didn't watch it, but it was 5 3 American. I want to listen to this uh, decision here. I want to listen to this decision. We will see. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29 28. 29 28. Winner by unanimous decision, Silky Jaquez Smith Jr. We'll get the 29 28 decision. He takes two of the rounds over Banbo. And Jaquez will come up dubs. Big Jaws. Wait, Big Jaws. Is that. Did you f make a new account? Or were you never following? Weird. That's the same account. You were never following? Rip. I appreciate you, though. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I thought I was following too. I swore you were, man. 84, 59, 29, 28. Six stuns for Ban Bo. I mean, he outstunned Jacquez, man. So the judges' scorecards gave one and two to Smith Jr. Round one. Okay, I can see it. Round one to Jacquez, for sure. Round one, for sure. Round two, for sure. For sure. Jacquez. And round number three, all five stuns. Wait, oh, first one was in that round. Five stuns for Ban Bo in round three, which is where he got the round. But it wasn't enough. As Jacquez won the first two rounds, he was up on the scorecard, just had to avoid getting finished, and he did. Jacquez Smith will improve the four and five, and Ban Bo is seven and 17. The prelim main event is here, and we will go to the light heavies, the 205s. And it will be the former champion, Kyle Hart. He, in his last six, eight fights, he is 6-2, and two, and those two losses are both in title fights. He's beaten everybody else as the number, the number one ranked lightweight. And again, he will have to do it again to our newest ish light heavyweight number eight the winless mark bellows uh for everybody that's here guys i appreciate you like i appreciate you i don't have my viewer counts up by the way i never have my viewer counts up um and i just clicked on it real quick just to see i fucking appreciate you guys thank you so much i never have it up for a reason um but i just wanted to do a little cookie and see what's up and uh yeah it's awesome so thank y'all I, I appreciate y'all they both secretly love each other, and we all know it. True, 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 true. When's the OnlyFans? Uh, yesterday. This guy's my daddy. <laughs> How is that guy a light heavyweight? Don't question it, Harris. Just let it happen. <laughs> Don't question the guy on the right being light heavy. He is 205, I promise. Hashtag trust me, bro, you know? Hashtag trust me, bro. I don't know what to say about that. Strong straight left there. <laughs> 205. Trust. Just trust. <laughs> Hard on the left. Mark Bellows on the right. Definitely light heavy. Uh, that's where you can see the Todd Bogu in the sword. Oh. Dude, I like how you're not into that. Holy crap. You are asking this, but what about Nacho Libre being featherweight? We have to check the scales. They must not. It only works on certain things. Fat and ginger. Only thing that can make this guy's day worse is getting knocked out. He is 0-2, Harris. He is 0-2, man. He is 0-2, so maybe... Uh, we established I, I was the cameraman the other night. <laughs> the other night? Oh, oh, so we rotate? Yo, I'm down with that. It's queso? Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Minute 30 here in 205s. Big knee there. Oh, and there he goes working off that 
jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, the night is ours. <laughs> I love it here. Let's go. Oh, huge, huge hand there. From, oh, Kyle Hart with the one, the two, the three. And Mark Bellows. I told you. I told you. Kyle Hart absolutely he crumbled. Yeah, crumbled him. One, two. Oh, I didn't see. I think we only saw two. But I'm pretty sure he got him once before that, too. And I did. Look at the hair, too. The hair. Oh, look at the hair animation. Holy shit. And that is it. The very first knockout in round one tonight. Belongs to Kyle Hart, the first former champion. The he. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb will get it handled. This contest at four minutes, and, uh, where's Kyle? The winner by I told you, dude, this guy's not losing. Unless it's for a title shot, this guy's not losing. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that. He's not losing. He's Rip MMA tonight. guru. Yeah. He's gonna be Kyle Hart with the win. Kyle Hart with the win. He will defeat Mark Bellows, who was 0 3 to start his career. But Kyle Hart, round one, four minutes and 16 seconds. I mean, look at Bellows, man. He threw 20 power punches, he, he landed 20. Um, just his, his stuff didn't land hard enough. One stun, one knockdown. One stun and one knockdown. Kyle Hart is victorious. And like I said, he has lost to nobody in the past in nine fights, unless it's for a title. He continues the win, continues his trek, and is potentially one win away from getting his fifth title opportunity. We will start out the main card in the heavyweights. We all love to see the big meaty men beat the shit out of each other. And it will be Showtime, who's won two of his last three, even though he's 7 of 14. And he will take on the former champion, the former two-time heavyweight champion. He has lost two straight, though. What's going on with Slick Baker? Number five. Number four, main card. Here we go. <laughs> Just wait till your fighter fights, dude. It's incredibly anxious watching your own fighter. Two inches of height in reach for Showtime. These two fighters have fought together once. These two fighters have fought one time, and it was a majority draw, but Slick Baker got the win. This was a long time ago. Long time ago. So I'm not sure how Slick Baker got the win. I'm assuming we had a system back then. Uh, we probably just didn't track it. But Slick Baker did beat Showtime by majority draw. So we'll see. Somebody check the scales. There's no way these guys weigh more than the fat. Hey, man, you know what? Bodies can lie. You know what I'm saying? Bodies can lie. Shakira's hips don't lie, but bodies do. You know? Six people betting. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you to those six people. Thank you to those six people. Down goes Slick Baker here. Showtime has been fighting way better as of late. And Slick Baker is the opposite. It, as the opposite. 14 and 5 for Slick Baker. Now he's lost two straight. Nacho Libre's hips don't lie, but the scale sure does. I mean, for a lot of people, apparently. A lot of people, apparently. Man, Slick, now I want to figure out what that glitch is, bro, because it's starting to piss me off. Like, it's happening quite often to me at this point, and I don't know, like, at first I thought it was, like, maybe because they're not in my pipeline. But I tested it, and other recruits that are in my pipeline, I, I can visit, so it's not that. So I have to assume that it's just some glitch, but it needs to be fixed, because it's really messing up my recruiting well, not, much of a setup not being able to visit to is a big deal it's a 160k man i wish i had the ability to take 10 points away because i would take 159k away from you and just throw them into the ether not being just offensive, but offensive like i wouldn't even distribute them i would just throw them into the fucking black 
to a black hole. And he's back up. That's what I, I would do. Checks the light kick. Besides that, Dave. Oh, what do you mean, brother? Would you give him to me? Nope. I would throw him into the black hole. Nobody gets him. Jab snaps the head Nobody back. gets him, bro. Zero. Zero gets them. Oh, man. The you hearing these? No, no he did not. Like that, but he has gotta figure some things out. Slick Baker's in kind of trouble here. He's already bleeding, bro. He's already bleeding a little bit. Slick's not a champion. No way, sir. Slicky baby is no champion. He used to be the champion. He he is the champion no longer. On the site, it is Donald Burgo. On the front page, anyways. On the heavyweight pages, does it say they the champion? Oh, oh! If you click on, if you click on fighter records and heavyweight, those are outdated. Like, I wish we could just take away those links, but so fighter records go to heavyweight, don't click, and then just go on like Slick Baker. You'll see that he's 14 and 7. But of course, as soon as he gets struck, that's not updated either. Bro, Sorted is behind. Only behind Sorted. I might have to jump in and start helping him here. Oh man. Well, Sorted's already getting behind here. I bet against myself I'm too old now. Oh no. Billowy, what's up, man? What up, what up? Straight right hand, no good. What am I? Did he update mine? And now leather being thrown on both sides. So on the individual pages, I don't think uh, last the, the last fights are up there. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Uh, the pound for pound rankings are updated now. So Sorted must have done it real quick. Sorted needs to sort his life out. Hey, I got back to work. I'll see you all later for your show. Uh, I should be. You're hilarious, Billy. Mr. Billy Bot. Yeah, the pound for pound's updated on the website now. Boobas one. OMG set post two at nine and two. So we updated that real quick. He's listening to our thoughts, guys. He's listening to our thoughts. I'm a little freaked out. I'm a little freaked out, man. That's what's up. Three minutes to go here. Baker and Showtime. Stuns Baker. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Showtime has been fighting better as of late. Beating the two-time former champion here would be a huge ass deal. Billowy bought back. Let's go. Billowy, you fought the very first fight of the night, man. And you weren't here for it again. You weren't here. You missed your fight. You started out the fight, dude. Or you started out the night. Free limb opening. Free limb again? Of course you are. You're free limb because you're not here. An ass. <laughs> Uh, we're so. Yeah. Did I win? <laughs> no. No, you did not. No, absolutely not, bro. You got uh, knocked out pretty hardcore in round two. That was the knockout of the night until uh, someone else took it away. S. Slick Baker stuns Showtime here. Oh, we are. Uh... Under a minute now to go. Well, he is really yeah, here. yeah, you got knocked out pretty hard, buddy. I've always been on the prelim because I don't have Dana White privilege. Not yet. Almost, now. I mean, you're on the main card right now. You're on the main card. 30 seconds to go here. Dude, I'm shocked this fight's still going. Two heavyweights. Showtime's kind of messed them up. Showtime has messed them up here. His right eye's closing up. Good lord. Good lord. We're going to go to round three, man. Round three in the heavyweights. When does that ever happen? I guess sometimes, but not, not, not very often. It definitely happens, but it's definitely less than half. GG's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're throwing in the towel already, bro? You can't throw in the towel, Slicky. You can't throw in the towel, man. You can't do it. You can't do it. 
It's the heavyweight. All it takes is one punch. All it takes is one punch. Oof. See, here comes Slick. Oh, my God. Here comes Slicky again. Oh, it's going to get... Oh, it's not going to get super cold. Oh, it's not going to get super cold tonight. This is brutal. This is not good. Ugh, this is not good. Uh, let's go. Still walking him down here. Let's go. I'm undefeated. Are you? Holy shit, brother. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. Uh, your wins are a placement. Your win. Uh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Make my fighter on UFC 4. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Three minutes to go here. Are we really going to see a unanimous decision in the heavyweights? I don't think we are. We still have three minutes here for this fight. Oh, my God. A huge right hand knockdown slick. I have to retire good old Frankler. You think so? You just gotta keep changing his uh, thing, man. Start of every month, you have to change your AI style. And Showtime will continue. His great stretch of fighting. As Showtime will pick up a gigantic KO. As Slick Baker is trying to throw an overhand right, Showtime catches him. With that uppercut, that lands absolutely flush. And it is going to be nighty night for Mr. Slicky Baby. One job, Baker. How do I change? You can change it at the start of every month. So that's also hard because you have to pay attention to this part. Start of every month, uh, the first Sunday that I post new fight cards for the month, um, you can change your... AI style and your fighter style every month. So instead of like retiring a fighter and making a new one, um, you can just keep changing different fighter styles and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So at the start of every month, you can change the way your fighter fights, which I think is a really cool thing. But people just need need to do it. Showtime gets the big win. Did I do the form this week? Uh, your pick you mean? Let me check, Frack. I listened. Yeah, I mean, that was more so for Bill Louis, but everybody can do it. 66 to 61, 29 to 22. Baker threw the more punch, threw most punches, but five stuns, the two knockdowns. Baker didn't get one knockdown the whole time. Judge's scorecard, it was 20 to 18. Showtime. 20 to 18, showtime. Yep, that's the picks right there, Freck. But let me see if you actually did it so you don't do it again. Uh,. Ruck, I do not see you. Spronkler, I do not see you either. Uh, yeah, so 2018, so this was Showtime's fight. He just had a knock it finished, and instead he did the finishing himself. He did the finishing himself. Showtime, he, after being 5-13, and 13, they've won 3 of 4, and the two-time champion Slick Baker, for the first time in his career, has lost three straight fights. Second fight into the main card here. Is the number two ranked the first ever three time champion, Thiago Suter? Uh, taking on somebody who got their first win just last week, number five ranked Carne Asada. Sounds good too. Well, maybe, maybe that's why your leg hurts. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Oh, I don't, maybe. You don't know. Do you? All right. And submission. Suter. Number one, Suter. He, he's pretty good. Suter is our number five pound for pound fighter, even though he's not champion. Number five pound for pound fighter, Thiago Suter. Fuck awesome soap sprinkler. We have 16 people in Pick'em so far. Everyone on my division? Yes, they are. Welterweight is very, very grapple heavy. They're either ground and pound, wrestler. It's very grapple heavy. So if you didn't pick grapple, 
you're probably going to suck for a couple weeks until the top of the, uh, the first of the month. Unless you can get lucky and catch somebody, you know? But luckily, it's already the middle of the month. So the very top of August is coming very, very quickly. You'll have to endure three weeks, th three fights. Uh, uh, August 4th. August 4th, yes. the Sunday, yep. that is when the cards will go out for the next week, and that is when you'll be able to change your stuff. Sunday, August 4th. Tiago's instantly trying to go for the arm bar. Both these guys are subspecialists, so this is what's going to happen. This is what is going to happen. Very, very quickly, are we going to get a first round submission? Carne is going to get out of it. Suter's is going to stay in full mouth, though, and stay in control. Can I not change my fighter? And you can change. Uh, you can submit the form if you want, but I'm not going to change it until the top of the month. That's a fair compromise. But I'm not going to change it until the top of the month, bro. I can tell you that right, right now. I can't change my fighter after months. You were shit talking, and I said you were going to get grapple fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making all these shots count. Uh, give me one sec here, brother. Give me one sec. Sweet Rose. Under a minute to go. All right, soap. That that's for you, brother. That's for you. Fill that out real quick. Got to be careful here. Fill it out real quick, and then I will close it. Very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes. Suter is in complete control here. Look at that. Come, complete control. That is for you, Mr. Soap. Yep. Get it in real quick, but I will not change it until the fourth. Until, like, three fights from now. Nice sub attempt. Another attempted submission here. The Carne Sada gets out of it, and he's in control, but it's going to be the end of round one. Going to be the end of round one. If anybody else wants to do the same thing, Anybody in chat so is lucky I'm being nice. So if you want to fill round, out that AI style and fighter chain fighters. form, you can. But none of these updates are going to go oh, man, into play the until the 4th of August. So because you're here in chat, I'm going to be nice. But none of it will go live except for three months. Or three weeks now. I appreciate more. I want to follow the rules. No, you're good. Dude. I'm letting Soap do it. If I let Soap do it, I have to let everybody do it. But I know Soap is fucking terrible nice at this point. Um, so if you want to, you can. But nothing will go through until the fourth. I will make notes in this form that only I can see, and it'll say August 4th. So if you want to change it, you can. But it will not go into effect for three weeks. If I'm letting Soap do it, I got to let everybody else do it too. But it's very simple for me just to make a note because I will pull up the same form, so it's fine. <laughs> so loud. No, 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 that's fine. I just, it, it, it's just, I, but I need to turn down. I ain't going to change. I'm going to follow the strikes. All right, fair enough, brother. My fighter is literally a guy who's going to keep into political shit. So strong, <laughs> In effect, August 4th. All right. There you go, brother. Turn off the form, and you're in. Turn off the form, it'll go into effect August 4th. So three more fights you have to endure, and then I'll change it, Billy. If everyone follows this rule, I don't want to break. Nah, you're fine, dude. Ain't that serious. Ain't that serious, Wazinho, you know? This is, uh, you know, there's some things that we follow, but this is still a fun game stream at the end of it, you know? Ain't that serious. Suter again on top here. Round one dominated. Round two, more of the same. More of the same. Been here lurking. Now oh, you're good, brother. What's up, Ness? We're supposed to have fun. Not you. Well, your fun's going to depend on if you win tonight. Your fun's going to depend on whether you're champion. Uh, you know I want to be a th yeah. Only rule you gotta rule. Only rule you gotta follow. Don't be a racist douche. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, man. There's very 
There's very few rules in this stream. Don't be a racist dick. Don't cross the line with other sensitive jokes, but it's a pretty big line to cross. Like, you really gotta cross it. Uh, but there's, there's, there's very few rules in this stream. This is not a sensitive stream. We all talk shit. If you don't like it, it's hate the stream for you. you know? That's why I always tell people. If you're a little sensitive person, uh, you probably don't want to be here. I didn't want to have fun. If I have fun, I will leap. Hey, fair enough, man. You can really, really it was great to know you then, you know? Right, One rule left me. Mm, you know, no hatred towards Slovenians either. True. True. No hatred toward the Slovenian right, people. Oh, as Tiago Suter will try to get a Darce choke, but it's going to be the end of the round, and Karni is going to survive again. As we will go to a round three. I was just going to see if these two have fought, but uh, there's anybody here that's not done their pickups so far. I think everybody here has done their pickups, right? Fruck has, Joey has, Ness has. Uh, Showtime is not, but he never does. Slicky, I don't think, has done it either. Mantis has not done it. And WBF. So there are people here. WBF, Mantis, Slick, and Showtime. If you have not done your pick on do it, brother. I took a hit off a joint. Oh, this guy. This guy, man. Having fun with what matters. There you go. You got your ass ahead. <laughs> you joining me in space? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh a bit late for that, mate. <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm AI. True. True. Makes sense. It all makes sense now, Fra. It all makes sense. Uh, Carne Asada is in a little bit of trouble here. Carne Asada is in a little bit of trouble. Um, I need to look at the Upper Deck site. Because I'm a little concerned. I want to see if they've announced something or not. I've been smoking, of course. Uh, your email or password is not correct. Uh, the fuck is not. Oh, the Darce is here. The Darce is here. And he's out of it. We were driving around today and saw Ori Let's Play on a Honda Odyssey and thought maybe top. What? Uh, sir, I do not have that. I do not have an Oregon license plate? What the fuck? This guy? I apparently I have a received a trade. I don't care. Geo Metro, you goddamn right. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. They announced it. They have not announced it yet. I can't talk about it. God dang, will you freaking announce this shit? Upper deck, dude. Pissing me off slightly. Pissing me off slightly. Uh, Shame, should change my name to Organ Bo Organ Ho? You mean? Yeah. You didn't advert for a smokeless girl and say he's going smoke free. <laughs> Minute 30 left here as this fight might go the distance, which is kind of shocking. Kind of shocking. Yeah, ho, you got damn right. You got damn right, boho. I'd kill for a Geo Metro. Would you? Would you, though? But stupid, is not smoking. Carne is on top here under a minute. I don't think he's going to have enough. What's we on about? I don't know, man. What's it like to fight with a functioning lung? Don't ask me. Don't look at Carne's face. Holy shit. 25 seconds. Is Suter going to get a win here? Or are we going to go to the scorecards where presumably he's going to win anyways? Can he get this triangle locked in though? He's not going to get it in and we are going to go to decision. Where presumably Tiago Suter has done enough and should be victorious here. Sorry, Big Joss. Tell you that was in the 20s as a kid to me. That's because you're a hundred, bro. Because you're a hundred years old. No, it's a uh, Portuguese, Billy. It's Portuguese. Ladies and gentlemen, after yeah, three rounds, Portuguese. we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 30 26, and 30 26. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Shotgun!
Thiago Suter. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That might be the audio that you guys were hearing. It was my son's uh, game. That, I'm, that might be the audio you guys were picking up. In that fight to the best of your ability, he did exactly that tonight. You couldn't hear the Portuguese accent. 29, 28, and 30, 26 is crazy. Yeah. It was judge number one, of course. Because somehow they gave Carne a sod around three. Sorry, Carne, but no. Sorry, 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 Carne, but no. Round one, suitor. Round two, because of the one stun and takedown, suitor. Round three. Because of the stun, one judge gave it to him. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Because of the, how they judge these fights with the stuns, we cut, I probably would have expected that. But in any case, Thiago Suter continues his good stretch. He is number five pound for pound for a reason. He improves to 14 and four. With three of his losses being in title fights, he has only lost one fight. That is not for a championship. Suter, 14 and 4. Carne Asada will drop 2 1 and 3. Third fight on the main card here. And it'll be the former champion, Sammy. Finish the story, Rhodes. 13 and 10 in his career. He has won eight of his last 10 fights. Going up against his teammate, his buddy, his pal, but they want to kill each other right now. Two and four, Mike Hawk Tua. Fucking around. So, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm enjoying NCAA for sure. <laughs> three inches of height for Sammy and three inches of reach for Sammy as well. Appreciate you, Goonie. Yeah, for, first episode of our, of our um, YouTube Dynasty went live today. Nice job. Where we announced the team. Where we announced the team that we're playing with. Uh, that's why you pay me more in Sorted. Are you playing a Harris? I'm assuming you are. That's why you pay me more in Sorted. It's always, it's always somehow the wrong stream. It still has one variation, so it works. Wait, what? Oh, wrong stream. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'm caught up. It's it's not Sammy's stream. Okay, I, I got you. I got you. I've seen more solar eclipses than I've seen Bowen's stream. To be fair, I think he's hit like five in a row for streams now. Continuing to stay busy here I think it's like now. five in a row now. Making so, all these shots count. Yeah. Good solid uh, I can't tell. Sammy Rose is the one on top here. Bo found Jesus. He found something. He found drugs and alcohol is what he found. Actually, he found Oregon. That's what happened. Bo found Oregon. I was hovering like a bear. And very effective with the ground and pound. Once you get to the top of these divisions, you cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation. Come on. Pick up NCAA video. Pick up, bro. Pick up. Pick up, pick up the views. Let's go. It's NCAA. Everyone should be finding it. But everyone's making a dynasty too. So fuck. Uh, grounded them and pounded them. Nice job. Not Oregon. I hope he gets better soon. Yeah. Well, that's that's where my son lives. I have to go down there not this weekend, but late next week. I gonna lose again? Hey. Never know, dude. Hey, you never know. You never know a dynasty that's not as good as you have since here. No. Sam Houston's on stream. Cincinnati's on YouTube. Boston College is the one that I'm doing off But I'm only straight simming that one because I just want recruiting practice. Um, I think I'm on like year four. Like right back would say, feed me more, feed me beer. <laughs> With brothers, last name Fletcher is punters. Yeah. The Australian punters. Oh, he's going for something. Mike Cock. Mike Cock going for a the heel hook. Knee bar. Either way, Sammy's out of it. And he's back in control. Give me more water. Yeah, I'm not. Oregon Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, my God, dude. 
This guy just compared himself to the rattlesnake. What the fuck? What the fuck? Five seconds left in round number one. Thank you, Goon. Never ever compare yourself to the Texas rattlesnake. Thank you. I'm going to do a road to glory and see how many girls I can get to block me. Hopefully can beat my IRL record. <laughs> Keep me updated on that, man. I, uh, I'm i curious of your progress. I'm curious of your progress. My money's gone. It's not over, man. Look at Mike's face. He's barely even fucked up. He's barely fucked up. He is a little bit, but it's just not over, man. The Eugene of University of Oregon. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Nine minutes, that's too long. For what? For what? Nine minutes. Nine minutes is eight and a half minutes too long for you, Bo. Wait, what are we talking about? Bo Cold, stop. This guy, dude, you, you, you keep getting timed out, keep comparing yourself to this. See me back on top here. You know what happens when you compare yourself to Uncle Steve Austin? You know what happens? I wish I still had that sound. I wish I still had that sound, dude. Actually, I keep everything. I'm curious. Twitch stuff, Twitch channel sounds? Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, nice Don't think I have it. Is it under OGG? I don't. I don't know where it went, but I don't have it. I swore I had everything, bro. You just made the list. Yeah, exactly. Not while I'm streaming. No. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Uh, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, buddy. I know you are, but make Just sure you keep you drinking because it's warm here, okay? <laughs> but I know you are, but make sure you keep drinking a lot of water, okay? Until, until it cools down a little bit. Get out of the scissor position, boys. This one? It works? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying drink regular water. Just drink, just drink water. I'm drinking water. Yeah, you're drinking PBR, Bo, you shithead. Cap Slicer, we've only had one play, one cap, cap Slicer submission in history. We've also only had one Kimura submission. Hey, kiddo, make sure you drink all this PBR. I would never have my kid. I don't even care when he's an adult. That's never happened. Never happened. Drinking this gross beer they want you to drink. Even when you're of age, I'll, I would never allow my son to drink that. It's disgusting. It's water. It's gross. It's called PBR. It's gross. Trust me, you don't want to know this. Huh? Yeah, it just tastes like water, though. Yeah, it sounds terrible. You goddamn right it is. That's my boy. That's my boy. And the end of round two. Kiddo, it's training wheel beer. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, dude. I will buy Little Todd Jr. PBR. Bo, if you try to buy my kid, I don't care when, like, if he's 18. If you try to buy him PBR, I'm going to slice off your fucking ears and beat it. Hawk is losing? Yes, he is. You ready to fight? Ready. If you're the expensive one. <laughs> Still around three to go, man. Still around three to go. The, the first time these two have ever fought together. Actually, Bo, you like PBR. You know what I would do to you? If you ever did that, I would get a double stout IPA and make you drink two of them. Double stout IPA make you drink two. Die, Sammy, die. <laughs> I hate that's precisely the point. And not only is it IPA, it's double stout. It's just tremendous. You see a fight away. Uh, that's what I, I would do to you. Don't fuck it. Why would you wait? That's true. Sort of, that's true. That's a fair point. I mean, to be fair, it would be hilarious. It'd be hilarious. Not IRL, Sammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in real life, bro. Not in real life. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't want none of that. Sammy back on top. Mike, you're in a little bit of trouble, buddy. You are in just a tiddly biddly of trouble here. I think you're uh, almost kind of done, Sammy looking to finish this fight. It's like a fire outside. Nice shot lands from the bottom. I mean, kind of, yeah. It's the same thing as in, in the back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. There's a huge fire warning though, like around Salem with the whole area for this. For this now he's got good body position, yo. Two minutes to go. We passed the midway point of the third. I thought you were watching round. a blank screen for a second. Because it's you? Nice. I don't know. <laughs> Sammy continues to be on top here. Minute 45 left. Might get the TKO here. Uh, you know the answer to that, bro. I tried it. And that is going to be it. We knew what was going to happen. It was just a matter of time as Sammy Rose does very, very bad things to Mikey Mike. And that is not great for Mike. For Sammy, it's wonderful. As Sammy Rhodes. You guys didn't tell me my music was still playing, bro. Yes. You guys fucked me up there. All right, the official decision is in. You guys Here's didn't tell my ball. musical still playing. It, it, it won't go on the YouTube. Referee Herb Dean is called a stop it, for it's contest. not supposed to be playing. At three minutes, 30 seconds. Sammy Rhodes, Mike. <laughs> yeah, too hard? Yeah, yeah. Declaring the winner by Chief Sammy Rhodes is going to improve the, the 14 and 10. Man. He is on a roll. He was 5 and 8 at one well, point. Can you imagine what now he is 14 and 10. Like in his hometown right now after he gets the As Sammy Rhodes will pick up the victory. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 here. That's a pinned message if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Somebody snip it. Snip that message. Uh, judge scorecards. I mean, 2018, Sammy. 2018, Sammy. 103 to 60. Uh, that's not true, Bo. 49 to 24. Four stuns, one body, two knockdowns. Just domination from Sammy from start to finish. He gets the win. Mikey Mike, Mike Cock, back to the drawing board. Three fights to go, and we will go back to the heavyweights. And the former champion, Jimmy Sweatervest. The former two-time champion, by the way. Will look to potentially put himself back in line for a heavyweight opportunity. But standing in his way... With a new makeover, some new ears, he is ready to hear the crowd, and he's ready to listen to them cheer his name. Number six, Frock. Awesome. And now this is good. Hey, man. If I don't, if I don't switch it, uh, five inches of height in or reach for Jimmy. Yeah, if I don't switch it, um, if somebody plays like a song request, it just keeps going from that song request. So, and, and typically I don't, don't change it. Uh, I'm gonna keep that because I haven't done it. Marcus complete. We played this. Let's reject that one. Let's reject that. Virgo. Okay. Got it. Rejected some channel point shit and sent some back. Uh, Conchkinner, who, 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 Maramba? He's a man. He's a man. Been number one last week. I will see, man. Frucking those ears on the right, looking to take down a second consecutive number one ranked heavyweight. Sorry, this thing. Well, no, you're fine. You're all good, brother. I rock this you. <laughs> hey, Ness found you, Frocky. Found you on the Discord. Good shit. Good shit, bro. It's definitely you. How'd you know? 
How'd you know, Ness? That's that's pretty awesome. Hit a tailing bed after for price six. No, dude, he's trying to blind his opponents. It's called a tactical advantage. And gets can cancer. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you try to put that like on? Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to. Oh, big left hand from Jimmy. But Frock came back and down. He is right back at it. He needed to really put his foot on the gas. He is right back at it. Guess who's back? Back again. Look at the quick action. JD's back. Tell a friend. Ugh. Two minutes to go in the round. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defensive offense, but he certainly Frock with the takedown. He's got just under two minutes here to work on some grappling against the former champion, two dumb champion. Had to dim the brass on the monitor. That's a again, that's a tactical advantage, dude. That's a tactical advantage. Oh, trying to stand over the top and end Jimmy sweater vest. Slides out of the way back to his feet. Very close for Jimmy. Very close, but we are back here. But we back, though, you know? We back. God damn it. What the fuck's in my eye? Under a minute to go in our opening round. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling is only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this Ooh, very God. early, how we needed to change something. Uh, to change 25 and seconds to go here. To Not a lot of big shots from these heavyweights so far. I'm a little surprised. Nice job, at least staying upright on I wouldn't that. say it's a boring first round, but it's kind of a non-eventful first round, to get a more especially in the heavyweight division. As that will be it, a blocked left hand, and that will be round one. <laughs> Brock, they found. <laughs> Mizzino, that's funny as shit. Look, I, look, I found you. Oh, dude, that's funny, dude. That's a good one. Man, don't scratch his eye. My mama says the person go blunt. Yeah, exactly, bro. All right, let's get to round two. I'm going to pool today, but. Okay. Da -da -da. Totally won that round. I mean, you, maybe. I didn't see numbers, but you got the takedown, but that doesn't mean too much. Good right hand, though. Fuck yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, one, two combo. Down goes Fuck. Awesome. Because remember, we have this stuff here. I'm not sure if you guys saw the new emo too. That's that. Down goes Fruck again. Did you guys see this new one? Did you guys see the new one? I'm not sure I really announced it. Did you guys see the new emo there? Oh, another big right hand. Down goes Fruck again. Jimmy's starting to take over a little bit. But we have the It's Time emo now. Thought that one was pretty fucking good. I thought it was pretty good. He didn't announce it, but I saw it. Yeah, I figured people would. I already brought. Saying that chat. Yeah, I like the. I like the. It's time, dude. I think it's cool. Again, just a spammable thing. We wanted to get some more emotes that could be spammable. And I think we made some good, uh, some good calls here. Fruck goes down again. Jimmy looking to finish this fight. Fruck is in deep trouble, but dodges the last two and back to his feet. Holy Lord, saves himself for now. Saves himself for now, but he has got to find a way. And it's not going to happen. The quick left hand from Jimmy. And Fruck is not uh, able. He's not able. Oh, it's right uppercut. That was a left. My bad. Right uppercut. Uh, he landed a right hand. Fruck throws that right hand, lands it a little bit, but a big, huge uppercut from Jimmy Sweater Vest, the two-time champion. And the two straight number one ranked victories is not in the cards for a Fruck off. He couldn't hear that shot right, coming. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a perfect email. I'll put it in Discord. Uh, I mean, I might, I might not be able to take it. It's not mine, but I want to see it. I want to see it, right? 
Well, we congratulate Clearly. him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably Clearly, keep bro. that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, All right. not only do you get the... Good try, Fruck. Good try. Good try. Jimmy Sweater of S can throw, man. He has a tough SOB. Two time, two time, two time champion. A new face got beat up. Yeah, you should go back to your old one. Fifty-eight to twenty-eight. Holy shit, bro! He threw fifty more punches and he landed thirty more. Like he just he he threw so many punches in eight minutes. He threw a hundred and twenty-two strikes and he was not on the ground. Holy shit! Three stuns, five knockdowns, just domination for Jimmy Sweater Vests. Surprised it went that long. Front Awesome takes the L. Jimmy with a big W. The co-main event is now upon us as the welterweight belt will be on the line. Your champion, Sap Alien, winner of three straights, will look to defend his belt from the second time against a man he lost to two months ago. Your number one ranked welterweight. They've won four or five and three straight, looking for their first ever welterweight championship, Benjamin Perez. Hey, Booba, you want me to give you a guess on who you're fighting this week? Hint, it's somebody you've never beaten. It's somebody you've never beaten, my guy. All right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before. Me? Shut up, Bo. Shut up, Bo. You just came back. You can't talk shit yet. So long you can't talk shit yet. This, this guy. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself Benjamin a Perez, Pinar del Rio, Cuba. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so Looking for his first ever welterweight championship. He has never fought for the title before. Sure, John Anik. Yeah, sure. This is his third opportunity, but it's fine. And I'm not sure that any tomatoes, tomatoes, right? Has handled adversity tomatoes, tomatoes. As well as this man has, he is forged. Yes, he's back, back, back. There is the champion, ten and six. He's won three straight fights. Looking to get another victory. Against this man, the welterweight champion. A first round submission is how this first fight went. For Benjamin Perez. Gotta earn my talking shit back. That's true. Right, folks, here That's we true. Go. All Top of chat if you want to bet, guys. It's 20K to 1K right now on one side. If you want to bet. If you want to bet. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses right. to put himself alongside the great welterweight champion He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a stage. Guy back though, I agree. I agree. And now our kill the take for this welterweight championship fight. Uh, six inches of height and reach for Sap Alien. Where's Lotto? Well, I don't know. Lotto comes in like once every two months. Lotto comes in once every two months. I debuted his 120 days ago, and what a 120 days it's been. What a 120 days it's been. Camera, you want to? You. Stupid Canadian. <laughs> oh, we're up to three hours here. Let's go. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Joey bringing the heat in chat right now. The challenger, your champion here. The reigning, defending, Seth Awesome. Looks at it sort of every time, bro. Here we go. Benjamin Perez looking to get his championship for the very first time. Literally kicked in the ass in the first 10 seconds of the fight. That's not good. 
That's not good. Dude, if whoever put 1K on Sap Alien to retain, or whoever bet on Sap Alien, y'all are getting paid like crazy if you 1K versus 20K is wild. It is wild. Early takedown from Sap Alien. I'm so scared. I'm going to sub this guy quickly. Oh, you flip it quickly. You flip it quickly. You are taken down. It's a belly down arm bar. Oh, he gets out of it though. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Benjamin Perez looking to finish this fight quick. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. He survives. Benjamin Perez is trying to finish this fight instantly. And Herb Dean lets it go on. Oh, no. I thought that was it. The TKO. But Herb Dean did not stop it. And Perez must go on. He must go on. Still in control here is Perez. But if something happens, we could look back on that moment as a huge problem. Perez trying to go full mount here. At least he was. Still in control, though. Still grappling. Sap Alien still on the bottom. Not a lot of damage going on, though. See if Sap Alien uh, can get a reversal. Now it's in full guard. Herb didn't let me give him more brain damage. Thanks, Herb. Okay. I mean, if that's the way you're feeling, it's all good. If that's the way you're feeling, man. I I'm with you. For show. I'll be more active in court. Also, you see, you suck at Discord, though, bro. I would love you to be active in Discord, but you suck at Discord. Yeah, this is a great fight so far. That alien surviving. Benjamin Perez is in control. Now he's full mount. Minutes ago, what can we do here? This is what the universe is all about. That uh, was Inyo. This is what we do every fight card, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. This is what these fight cards are like. Three times a week, we do full fight cards like this. We have a crazy amount of fighters that we got to get through. Everyone fights once a week. Guaranteed. Guaranteed everyone fights once a week. This card's rough to learn. Go to my server, and there's a bunch of channels. Type in the channels. Easy peasy, bro. Easy peasy. There's nothing else you really need to learn about it. Just type and hit enter. I want to see more of you. Hey, let's go. Huh? Hey, shit. And round one, a great round from the challenger. Some say the fight should have been over already. We will see if that's going to play a part, if there is going to be a little bit of controversy. A little bit of controversy. We will see. Good fucking attack there. I saw my hopes float. There you go. It's like that. It's always like that. That's not the time I was doing when we got submitted in round four. True. True. That was uh, Thiago Suter. You were six and two. That actually started your uh, one and four stretch in five. Now you've won three straight again. Yeah, I like the way Sammy just held me down. I'm a sub now. Learn something new every day. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Good left hand there from Perez. Big overhand right from the champion, though. These two throwing back and forth here. Sap goes for a takedown, but we know what happened last time. Benjamin Perez got a huge... A quick, quick reversal. Remember, Perez is off the back submission artist, so he will reverse constantly. Being taken down there is kind of what Perez wanted. He's not worried about it. This is a great fight, man. Now Perez is back in control. About five seconds of control for Sap Alien before it was flipped on. Before it was flipped. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Before it was flipified. 235 left in round number two. Nice strike from bottom position. Okay, back, back, back. All right, feet on the hips here. That's my shit so fucking low, dude. This well, pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Perez. Do, do, do. Let's go, Perez. Perez looking for his first ever welterweight championship. 
10 and 6 in his career, 0 and 2 in title fights. Looking to finally climb that mountain and be known as the best welterweight in the world. I bet almost 20k on myself. I hope I win. I mean, if you win, you're gonna make like a 1k. <laughs> Worth though, it's confident. I'm convinced I haven't passed successfully once. Hey, there's the champion right there. Sap Alien. We got Ness versus Sap. Both in chat. Let's go. We don't see this very often. I don't think you have either, Sap. I don't think you have either. 45 seconds as off the back submission artist. Benjamin Perez doing well right now. Oh, 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 trying for a triangle choke. It's not locked in yet, though, but he's trying to set it up. 20 seconds. Can they get it in time? The arms are locked. Chest is down. And that's it for the first time in his career. Benjamin Perez is your welterweight champion. As he taps out Sap Alien. And gives him his first loss in four fights. Benjamin Perez. Actually, he, Joey, he's from he's from Cuba. Benjamin Perez is Cuban, so yeah, you know. <laughs> Bruce Buffer, make it official for the first time ever. Benjamin Perez, you're welcome. You're just good in the submissions. Bruce Buffer has the official Ladies and gentlemen, the referee remains called to stop in this contest. Four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and new. And new. This is why we have this emote, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we have this emote. Benjamin Perez. For the first time, is your champion. It took him 17 fights to get here, but he is here. Benjamin Perez, an up and down career. After starting six and two, lost four of five, back to now four straight, and is your champion. Not another first time champion, first time champion. They all said I couldn't do it. They said I couldn't look at me now. Look at me now. 58 to 47 for total strikes. But five minutes of control. And Perez was just setting them up the whole time to get him tapped out. Benjamin Perez, the very first time your champion, Sap Alien, his three-fight losing streak has snapped. But I bet you money, he will look to get back quickly. Our main event tonight is in the bantamweights and the 135s as Orange Kiwington. Our brand new champion beating Brick Mandu last week will try to defend his belt for the very first time against another fighter looking to be a first time champion. They've won two straight. They are the number four ranked bantamweight, Prisney. You won three straight. Like you were gonna retire and make a new fighter? Or like retire and leave? So not the first time he has been the number one Bantamweight contender, but most would argue this is a totally different beast. Nobody can ever leave, dude. Nobody can ever voluntarily leave. I, like, once you're in, you're in for life, you know? You find an opportunity. The only way to be out is to die. But if it doesn't work out, Too ill. Holy shit. What's up, brother? What is up? How are you, dude? It's been a minute. Great, great to see you again. Doing good? Arlovsky is 6'4". Yeah, exactly, bro. Perez needs to stop his nonsense. He cannot miss his he needs to stop his nonsense talk. All for this guy How is life, too, Will? The stream is like the Dutton Ranch. Once yeah, you're yeah, here, you're yeah, not yeah, leaving yeah, for these. Yeah, make a new fighter, but I'm definitely not thinking about it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, you, even before this, you won three fights, though. So you were doing well. But, I mean, at some point, too, it's always nice to make a new fighter and just refresh. So after, you know, 10, 15, 20 fights, you're like, ah, I want to switch divisions. 20 fights, 15 fights, it's all good. I won't blame you for that one. Sometimes it's nice to fight some new people, you know? You know who he is, the undisputed. 
UFC Bantamweight Life has been life, can't really complain. Hey, okay, good shit, good shit. Like it, like it. As there's the champion here, Orange Kiwington will make his way. Chris Knee is already waiting in the octagon. Uh, these two fighters have fought before, and Chris Knee has beaten Orange Kiwington. His knee is 1-0 and o against Orange he already started to do it. He Will to fates tonight. repeat themselves? Like or will Kewington get his revenge and remain your champion? And win his fourth yeah, straight to it. Like a certain chicken shit who beat me once and, and dips. Hey, get him, bro. Get him, bro. Top of chat. Last chance to get your uh, predictions in, man. Last chance. Last fight of the night. Again, I appreciate everyone being here tonight. To get us started, I know here some of y'all are excited for it. NCAA, as I am too, but I appreciate you sticking around. And still being a part of this fight universe, baby. For sure. Bruce, for the last time. It's time. There it is, buddy. You're still on that. How about you beat Bo? Oh. Oh, oh my God. You had Bo come at you, too. Holy shit. You had Bo come at you, too, brother. Last time, baby. Yeah, I like that emote. That, that is time emote. Is, is, is pretty I'm not going to lie to you. Orange Key Wing Good. If the bag was named Adam Bell, you couldn't be yourself out of it. Oh my God! Holy shit! Last fight of the night, Kewington on your left, of course, because he's orange Kewington. That makes all sense. World. Prisney on the right, looking to become another first-time champion. Could we have two first-time champions on the same card tonight? Is that possible? Is it possible? He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay. Is this the guy dipping out to only get his ass heavyweight? Dude, if I were ever to switch divisions, it would never be the heavyweight. Heavyweight is so freaking, like, weird. One punch from any of the ten heavyweights and you're gone. No way, man. No way, that's too sporadic for me. Too sporadic for me. Nice combination there. He is just killing with volume two. Jab. Oh, If I were to switch divisions, it would be heavyweight. I love the chaos. Dude, heavyweight is complete chaos. Complete chaos. Anytime, anywhere, any punch, doesn't matter who's winning, bomb. No, Pedro started out good, but then lost at 205. Pedro Goonfella. That was wild, so it well, I never would have bet on that in a million years. Prisney on your right, Kewington on your left. Eye. First time it's two fought, it was a round, sure uh, third round KO. Right so they at least go bombs. 10 rounds, or it's a 10 minutes. I don't. Smart man. You, you scrubbed it from your memory. I love it. Our main event here. Can we get a second first time champion? That his opponent can't keep up. And we've seen him do it. Oh, we own. Just out of range with that right and then we're back on Thursday for another fight nice night card. Three title fights. On, on Thursday. Oh, wait. This is back. Uh, oh, no. Just kidding. Three title fights. It should be a really good uh, fight card, too. Adam Bowes on Thursday. Richard Swerves on Thursday. Fred is cool. Petrelli. Yeah. It should be good. I don't have USC that's pretty good. Four and five, honestly, are, are, are very, very similar. They did not change much. Throws that deep and it lands. It did not change much. Big shot from Kewington there. Biggie, biggie shot. Biggie, biggie. My goal is to lose more. Nobody lose more. Nobody's losing more than Schlong Connor. I'm sorry, dude. Nobody's losing more than that guy. That guy. And a round one here. 
Good little bantamweight back and forth. Good little bantamweights. Thanks for this event, dude. This, hey, you're welcome. I appreciate you uh, becoming a part of it and joining us, hanging out. We'll do it again Thursday and Saturday every single week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Same time. It might be an hour earlier, though, going forward. We'll see. Not this week. Uh, but it might be. But three, three times a week, man. Same days. Unless something comes up, I'd say like 10% of the time I change one of the days. Like, uh, for instance, this Saturday, guys, remember, this Saturday is not the normal time. This Saturday is a day fight card. I'm going to the Mariners game on Saturday night with my kiddo and with Spun Off. Um, so Saturday is a day fight card. I believe I put it as 3 p.m. Pacific time. So Saturday, try to be here. I know it's, it's way different time. Right. So try and be here. That's going to be our Saturday card. Throws off the times. So you're not flying us all in for that game. Uh, I thought about it, but I mean, you guys wanted codes too for NCAA, so I chose that instead. I chose that instead. It was either fly you guys in or get you an NCAA code. So that calf is starting to bruise up. We'll keep an eye on it. He's got to check now. I chose the latter. Keywington starting to starting to dominate here, especially on the feet. Guys, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, you're welcome, dude. I already sent out the codes, so I mean, it's already handled. But halfway through round number two here, Prisney trying, but Keywington is not even looking to attack. He is just knocking him down, letting him stand back up and dominating. With your thousands of subs and on the fridge, probably thought you'd be able to pull private jets. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, I. Close, I'm close, goon, but I have to be a little mindful of finances, you know. I gotta be a little mindful. Gotta be a little mindful. I'm getting there though. As Priz knees kind of taking it to the champion here. Oh my gosh. Does he look like Asmund Golden? Fuck, dude. No, I sure as fuck hope. Not sponsored by Horizon. Are the Mariners sponsored by Horizon? Really? Chris Knee starting to come back here. Holy shit, Keewington's in a little bit of trouble. Man, what a fight. Keewington's in trouble. Chris Knee's not giving up. Under a minute now to go in the round. Spinning back fist land. That's one of Keewington's favorite things to do is that spinning back fist. I mean, just a little. Oh, right. You can see Fucking the relaxed. Turns it over. Oh, he tries to spinning back fist again, but Prisney catches him. You can't throw the same punch nine times in a row. Eventually, it's going to get time. But Prisney catches him, takes him down, but Hewington immediately reverses it. Ten seconds to go in round number two. As I believe this is going to be it. Ten minutes down, potentially 15 to go in this main event of fight night. 32. Hold your opponent in position. It is like striking gold. Build your posture, Too many emails. Your Let's delete all this crap. Round three. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this round. Quickly down goes Prisney. Ewing 10 with that minute of rest, or however long it is. Prisney's face is a little bit more messed up, but most miners quit mining before they reach KO of the year via spinning back fist. It's true. True. I mean, so far, the June knockout of the month, number one, is probably the KO of all time. The double knockout, very, very close. But the June KO of the month, number one, is probably one of the best. Skewington takes him down, looking to finish him. Jumps into full mount here. Yeah, I believe it was Big Daddy Tanner. I think it was number one on the June KO card. That was fucking insane. Nice. I think it was June, not May. Oh, and he's back up again. I was there for that. 
I was there live when it happened, baby. Dude, I'm screaming for me. <laughs> Three minutes to go. But Kiewington's face is messed up too, man. Either This is either fighter's fight right now. What a fight so far. These two are beating the hell out of each other. This is exactly what you want for a main event. Who's going to walk away, though? Is Kiewington going to defend his belt, or, or is Prisney going to be the champion for the first time? Who's, who's going to land? Kiewington's got to stop throwing that spinning back fist, dude. He's going to get caught again. He's going to get caught. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Superman both glance guys lands. Guys Doesn't land fully, but glancingly lands. Oh, and Kiewington! I just said it. Somebody's going to get the knockout. Somebody's going to get that one punch. It could be either fighter. Both men are kind of messed up. But it's Kiewington that lands it. The straight right hand catches Prisney. And we will not have a second first first time champion. Orange Kiewington will defend his belt. And he will continue his reign. Now we go inside when he's the octagon, with the Frosty in that the That Frosty's one two. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. And still. And still. The Undisputed. Orange Kiwi change the sound. Oh, well. And still your bantamweight champion, the Orangeman, Syracuse Kiewington, is still your title holder. Judge's scorecard, it was 19-19, although Judge 3 gave round 1 a 10-10 draw. So it was 2019 for Kiewington on Judge 3. Overall, Prisney out threw him. 77-62, 34-30. But Kiewington's punchers are the ones that did the most damage. Nine stuns and knockdowns compared to only two for Prisney. I mean, uh, outpunched but landed the more powerful strikes. Just not the volume? Don't see that very often. In any case, Orange Kiewington re remains your champion. He retains. And Prisney will continue to get or to try for that elusive first championship.